number seven and my ride for the next 45 minutes. Let me preface this and let you know I am no thrill seeker and I hate roller coasters, but I could not pass up the chance of a lifetime and I'm bringing you all with me. The FA-18 Hornet can reach a max speed of 1.8 Mach. That's about 1,400 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, the speed of sound is just 767 miles per hour. But let's backtrack for a second. As a journalist, I like to know what I'm getting myself into. So I got some sound advice from those who've gone before me. Most crucial is that you have a fresh manicure, and this is because you are most likely going to get sick and you're gonna be holding a bag in front of your face. And at least you wanna have your nails done to distract all the viewers from the fact that you're throwing up on live television. Pay attention when they are teaching you how not to pass out. Because for me, the coolest part of the experience was when they told me the tunnel vision would come as you're pulling those Gs, it was totally happening. And you could see the darkness coming and then you fight it off and sure enough, it went away and it was exceptional. To be honest, I kinda of wanna see you pass out because Let's be honest, it is going to make great television. Make sure you enjoy it. Go to the max, try to pull as many Gs as you can. Definitely noted. Now back to my ride. After signing my life away, then comes the pre-flight briefing from Petty Officer Anthony Betronis. I'm not gonna set you up for failure here, so I'll make sure that you're all good to go. This is the back seat of an F-18. We go over how to avoid passing out. Ready, hit it. <laughs> everything I should keep my hands away from. So all this black and yellow right here, it's no touch. Okay, it either causes you to leave the aircraft or things fall off the aircraft. And the scariest of all, what to do in case of an emergency. He's gonna say eject, eject, eject. On the third ejection, he's gonna pull his handle. You do not need to do anything. The way it's set up, when he pulls his handle, the canopy, you and him will go in less than two and a half seconds. Let's hope it never comes down to that. Next, it was time to suit up. With my lucky Hannah Banana tennis shoes, my Blue Angels manicure, not to mention my motion sickness meds, I think I'm ready to go. A quick selfie with pilot Lieutenant Andre Webb, the person I'm trusting with my life. And before I knew it, we were in the air, immediately pulling six Gs. Then hitting some pretty big maneuvers. Rolls, loops, even flying upside down. There you go. 28 minutes in and those Gs are catching up to me. Now I know you're not supposed to eat a big breakfast, but apparently you are supposed to eat more than three crackers because flying on an almost empty stomach isn't great. As they say, puke and rally. Now comes the big finale. Ready, Hannah? Just before the landing, the one that makes all the noise. That's where I pull 7.1 Gs. The G limit in this aircraft is 7.5, so I'm told that's a pretty good number to be able to brag about, and I held it together. I thought you did great today until we hit the tarmac. They tell me after you get out, it's like you've run a marathon. They lied. I feel like I've run five marathons, but overall a mind-blowing experience. In Pensacola, Hannah McKenzie, Channel 3 News.